Good afternoon, everybody. Today's segment is going to be about certain things about the Bill of Rights, about what what ifs, okay? Beginning with, let's start with the history, okay? 1787, when the Constitution was written, they started with the Bill of Rights then. Then, let's go down the history line here. Then, obviously, the famous Republican Party in 1852, at a small little church house, two senators were suppressed by the Kansas-Missouri Act, which became a something that was angry, that angered two senators, and they decided to get, do away with the Rig Party. Wing Party, excuse me, I can't really pronounce things well, excuse me. And they wanted to become Repub. They wanted to change the name to Republican. In 1854, that happened. And then two years later, the first presidential election for a Republican happened. But that obviously didn't work out because Buchanan got high, became elected. And then in 1860, Abraham Lincoln became the first Republican. And then, lo and behold, 18. That's when the Civil War broke out from 1861 through 1865. Then 1864, that's when he became the pres. That's when he got reelected as president. Then in the middle of his presidency, the Emancipation Proclamation was written. He announced the Emancipation Proclamation, which abolished slavery. Now, with that part. Rewind, going back to the Bill of Rights, is what we're talking about here. The Bill of Rights states only ten amendments. The first ten amendments. Now, with that being said, the tenth amendment is what we're mainly talking about here. The right to own... Every state has its right to make laws, which means every state can do its what it wants to do, it has its rights to make laws and everything else. On the other hand, say you add the thirteenth, say you added the thirteenth amendment in with that mix. What would have happened if that happened then? If you had thirteen amendments in then, if you had the thirteenth amendment added back then during the Bill of Rights era, during the Constitution, when the Constitution was written. What would you have done? Would it be any different? Would there have ever been a civil war? That's something to think about. Do you think there ever would have been a civil war or a Republican Party to combat slavery? Because that's what the Republican Party was, to combat slavery. Because the Whigs, were, the presidents who were pretty much well, Whigs, if you look them up, were people... Who wanted to combat slavery. They had the same ideology as what Republicans have had then before Lincoln was a Republican. Because Lincoln was a Republican he thought the same way as all of them did. They wanted to abolish slavery. Well, the Democrats wanted to keep slavery. Now, if you do the math correctly, that's pretty much how this whole thing worked. The southern states wanted to keep slavery, while the northern states didn't want any slavery. And that's how it all worked. And that's how where the Tenth Amendment comes into play at. Those states didn't want slavery, they did. And the Civil War was pretty much fought over state rights. Now the Thirteenth Amendment demolished those state rights. So think about that. If the Thirteenth Amendment was imploded during that time frame, there never would have been a... Their question is, would there have been a civil war? Nobody really knows. I don't. I wouldn't know. Only our ancestors would know that. But that's something that we all wouldn't really know necessarily. The only person that would know would be our ancestors, George Washington, because he was a part of the people, one of the people that helped write the Constitution. And obviously the people who helped write the Bill of Rights. 
the first 10 amendments. Now, if you added the 13 amendments, if you added the first 13 amendments, it'd be different. But, obviously, that's totally different nowadays than what it would be. Well, have a good day, everyone. And I'm out of here.